Hello everyone. Today we'll take a look on how to get the computer ready before installing the Entropa software. Right? First, the computer need to meet the system requirement. Right? Secondly, we need local admin right on that computer. We need to be able to install, deinstall, make changes, configuration on, on, on that computer. So um, let's resume that by saying we need local admin right. With that admin right, we'll be able to allow the needed port right in, in the Windows firewall. Nowadays, antivirus adds some layer of firewall, so we'll add that in case you have an antivirus who also have firewall will add those port as well the exception needed and to finish to get the computer ready we'll disable the usc then we start the computer that's that pretty much done with the video what we'll do we'll go to those step by step with you right let's start with the minimum system requirement We need at least a dual core. If we're gonna have video integration, a quad is recommended. Four gig of RAM. Please, we have the minimum requirement here, right? Uh, eight will be better, as you can see. If we're gonna have video integration, we definitely need at least eight gig of RAM. 50 gig of hard drive. And as for the windows, we can say from 7 Pro and up. 7 Pro, 8, 8.1, 10, 2008, 2012, 2016, 2019. You know, as you can see in my screen, Windows 7 Pro and up. Um, if you guys want to install on a virtual machine we also support vm workstation version 7 and higher all right then if your computer meets those requirement we're good to go next tcp port in firewall let's take a look together okay depending on what we're installing on that computer because that can be the entropa server that can be a remote workstation that can be an entropa web so here on that screen you have the needed port right in the server side so we're going to the add those port 18,000 and then we have a group of port which is 18,101 up to 112 and, and so on so here you have the port right so we're going to take a look together let's make the example with a windows 7 all right let's take a look okay i'm on to team viewer at my windows 7 computer right uh well, yeah windows 7 take a look okay dual core 4 gig of ram windows 7 all right windows 7 professional now to get to the firewall i can either type the word firewall in the search area or I can go in control panel, right, and here I can type firewall. Getting to firewall, what I need, what we need, we need to get to the advanced setting. And there we're going to add the port needed, TCP port, in inbound and outbound, which means we're telling the windows to send those port we need them for the Kentech system all right now 
this computer I'm gonna use it to install the server that's gonna be my main computer where all the database and stuff like that which actually gonna have a couple of component there we have the server there and in my case I'm gonna install all the component in that same machine I'm talking about the server the gateway the smart link and so the port needed I'm gonna add all those ports all right I go to inbound wall new wall selecting port and going to select TCP I'm adding the 18,000 then I'm adding the 18101 dash 18 one zero nine here's a group of port which the port for uh, smart link gateway remote workstation and so stuff like that all right then I'm adding I'm adding the 18112 which is what we call the registration port the 18802 which is the port needed for all the Kentech controller over IP okay I'm adding the 18200 which port is used for, for multiple stuff actually <laughs> and then 8801 up to 8802 okay I'm going to copy those port so when I'm gonna create the unborn wall I don't need to type them again I will just space now I do select next make sure to allow connection next I check I want those will to be applied to all those three domain private public and I type can take TCP and all right so I add the name there so if I'm making some verification or the IT they're taking a look at the firewall and they see that they will know all right those are the port being used by Kentech needed by Kentech outbound wall same I select new port next now since I had them I just paste make sure it's allow connection is selected all right same thing and here I type the name of the wall which is Kentech TCP and that's it we don't pretty much <laughs> um, that's the same process right can let's take a look at Windows 10 for example finish that one let's take a look at my Windows 10 I'm going to firewall okay and as you can see let's wait for it And here I still have my pieces in Spanish inbound wall and outbound wall same thing I have to create the new wall okay same thing so uh, let's assume in case you have an antivirus in your computer uh, let's take a look for example I do have an antivirus there let's take a look at it Not now, not now, my friend. Let's look at protection. And here I have firewall. Yes, I do. It seems that I have the option, but I don't have. Well, I'd 
could have it, but I don't. All right, because I have the free version there on my bench computer. All right then. So, just <laughs> for, for us to be clear, so I add the firewall, the exception on the Windows firewall, and as you could see there, I could have to add it in the antivirus as well. In my case, it's not. So let's move on. We system requirement. I do have local and min white. I mean, if I didn't, I would not be able to uh, make those changes in my firewall. And I just add the needed port. And what left to be done? Disable UAC. Okay. Well, let's take a look at it. Back in my Windows 7. Disable UAC. There is a simple way of doing it. I can just come in the search. I type UAC. And I have that screen there. Click on it. I need to have my UAC all the way down to never notify. Right? And then OK. I can also go to control panel. You know, use user account and here have change user account control setting which is what UAC mean U for user A for account and the C for control so I click so it's multiple way of getting there right now I have to bring it all the way down to never notify and when I click OK it will ask me to restart the computer which is I'm about, about to do and my team viewer of course I lost connection to my computer now it's restarting okay let's wait for it to come back and then I will be able to now install my intrapass because my computer is with the okay now UAC disabled, port are added in firewall, my PC is ready to go. Now if you have a Windows 10, you might need to do a little more. It's about the UAC. Right? Please. You pause that screen, note that step and you can follow it you need to access the your windows registry navigate to that funny step that you're looking at and then you will be good to go uh, you know what let's, let's take a look at it together okay i'm going to the search i'm going to the registry by putting wedge edit i am there seems that I've done that already or you know <laughs> but let's do it together uh, I'm saying here in my note we need to go to HK local machine software Microsoft so HK local machine then I go to software then I go to Microsoft let's see then I go to software, Microsoft, yeah. Then we go to Microsoft. Okay, software. And then we need to look for Microsoft. Okay. Then Windows. W. Okay, then current version. Let's open a little. Okay, current version. And then I need to go to policy. Policy. And then I need system. And when I reach system. I'm going to look for something called enable 
uh, here all right i'm gonna make a right click and i go modify in your case here will be one so you will need to put zero i have done it already i have entry pass installed and running over here and then you add to zero you need to switch it from one to zero zero mean disable and that's how you disable the uac in windows 10 for real all right i gonna leave the screen for you and then after you done that you will start the computer and then good to go enjoy your entropass installation thank you